Hi, welcome to Shea Greg. I am Greg. What we're making today is a delicious little dessert that you're gonna love. You've probably, at least if not had it, heard of something similar before. You've heard of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Well, we are making Shea Greg's almond butter filled cups. All right, here's what we need. We're gonna need a coffee grinder. We're gonna need some coconut oil. We're gonna need some honey. We're gonna need some cocoa powder, some organic almonds. We're running low, but this is actually gonna be just enough for the amount we're gonna be making. And we're gonna need some almond butter, a bunch of spoons, and something to melt it all in. Okay. We're gonna do. What we're gonna do is put them on a low heat. Okay. We don't want to uh, use too high of a heat because that will denaturize the pro uh, the protein uh, that's in the coconut oil. Now, if you haven't used this before, coconut oil is hard, all right? And we're gonna have to go up. It's been in the fridge. I like to keep things in the fridge so it stays fresh and longer. You don't have to with coconut oil, but I do. And we're gonna use three tablespoons. They're kind of large, but I wanna make sure I get enough. And there we go. Normally it's not quite this hard, but like I said, it was in the fridge. Okay, and we've got it on a low heat, and we're just gonna let it melt a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna leave that spoon right there while it melts. Then what we're gonna do, because cocoa powder is bitter, in case you haven't had it before, all right, the cocoa bean bitter, we're gonna use a sweetener. Now, what I've done in the past is uh, I've used berries, dried berries, and I grind them up in a, a coffee grinder, but uh, sometimes the berries will take away or just add a flavor that I really don't want in these uh, in these uh, treats. So I'm just going to use this honey. This is a nice, sweet, mild honey. Okay, it's uh, a pure, unpasteurized honey. And I'm going to put there's one. I'm just going to let it drip off a little bit. And two nice big tablespoons of honey in there. Love honey, it is so good for you. There we go. I'm gonna let it drip for a minute. Just, just to speed things up a little bit, I'm gonna do that. Okay. I love, love honey. Mmm. Mmm, that's so good. And now, our cocoa powder. Now, if you want, if you don't have cocoa powder and you happen to have cocoa beans or cocoa nibs, you can use them and grind them in the coffee grinder, but I want this to be a really nice, smooth texture, okay? So, I'm gonna use two tablespoons, not heaping, by the way, just something like that. I'm gonna put that in, and another tablespoon in, Okay, and you can change um, by all means how much uh, cocoa powder to honey ratio you use depending on how sweet you want it um, or how chocolatey you want it because um, if you put more honey in obviously it's going to be really sweet chocolate. Uh, the less honey you use the more chocolatey flavor is going to come out okay it's kind of a bitter chocolate. So I use a nice ratio that I like and I taste it along the way just to, to see how it goes. So we're just gonna mix this up for a while. Okay. I'm already gonna taste some. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, this is gonna be really good. It's gonna be really chocolatey. Let's drop that in there. And we're just already just gonna mix this for a while. Now for today's recipe, these uh almond butter filled chocolate treats as we'll call them. Probably gonna make about six, all right? And we've actually got a tray right here with our paper liners because we're gonna put them in the freezer uh, so they will cool off a little quicker. We want liners in there. It's just easier to pop them out into your mouth and you literally just pop them in your mouth. They're bite-sized, they're great. Like I said, 
We're just making about <clears throat> six today, just so you get the idea of how to do it. And you just change the recipe, add more, depending on how many you want to make. Okay, kids absolutely love these. They like chocolate. And this is uh, melting pretty good. just to let it harden before we put the peanut butter on or sorry not the peanut butter but the almond butter so we're just going to do this I'm just going to layer the bottom and reach them like that See the consistency? It's nice, nice and smooth. Okay. There we go. Delectable. So I actually made eight. Okay. So now all we have to do is uh, pop these in the freezer for about 10 minutes and we'll come back and do the next part of it. Now that the base is in the freezer, okay, um, we are still, we're letting the chocolate stay warm on the warmer on the burner and we're gonna make the filling now, okay? We've got some almond butter. We're gonna add a little bit of honey, just, just a little bit, just to sweeten it just a tad. I like my sugar very much, okay? And the almonds now. I want it. I want a little more texture on this, so I'm just going to get, you know, I hardly have any almonds, like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22 almonds, okay? That's all I'm using. I'm going to put them in the lid, and we're going to grind them. Now, we're, gonna, we're not going to grind them into a really fine powder, because I do want to have that, uh, that texture there, okay? I'm just going to... more like thinly chopped is what they are. Yeah, and that's good there. Okay, I'm just gonna unplug this. Turn it upside down to get it out, just like that. Okay, and we got two spoons in here. And you know what? Ah. Mmm. And just to get a little bit of texture, a little more, a little thicker. This is probably making more than we actually need. That's okay, because you can always get a spoonful of it later and have it. Now this is this is gonna be really nice. Okay, you can see that. Okay, it's nice to be able to get that off and out of there really easily. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go to the freezer. It's been about 10 to 15 minutes now. And uh, the base should have set, so I'm just gonna go to the freezer, grab the bases, and we're gonna fill up the base. Now that we have the base, we're simply gonna pop some of this out here, and just pop a little bit in. You know, if you like more almond and you know almond butter in there, then that's all. That's all good. You know, we just let it drip in there like that. It doesn't take a lot. Sometimes it gets a little tricky. The most part is pretty easy. Okay. And so we go like that. A little bit more. Just go like this real quick. And the next one. Okay. A little bit more in that one. Mm. 
Well, this is kind of chunky style, I guess, because you know you got the chopped almonds in there the, that I put through the coffee grinder. Okay. No, and the, the other chocolate, it's still warm on the stove, okay, because we didn't want it to harden at all. The other thing we can do while we're here, is if we want, just smooth it out just a little bit, okay, just so it's not one big clump. One big clump is fine too, the chocolate will just pour over it, okay. Okay, so it can be a little finicky if you, there we go, a little more on that one just because. Okay. Yeah, we've got that. Mm, bravo. And now back to the chocolate. Now, it's a thin consistency, right? As I said, and it may look like it's going to be too thin for you, but it hardens really nicely when you put it in the freezer. And I'm actually going to show you. You can do it. You can pour it, or you can do what I'm doing here. See, and look at the way that just fills in around the edges. Fills in right over all that almond. Okay, you spill it, you spill it, no big deal, just a little bit. Okay, and this is going to harden really nicely. Just move that out of the way. So, I'm using basically two teaspoons to fill each one once I've got that bottom layer on and the almond in there, okay? Now, depending on how much you test it, <laughs> you could run out before you get it all made. And I've done that before, but looks like we are gonna have just enough. Look at that. We've got just enough to fill it up. Okay, do that. Now we don't have a lot left, but if we do, you know what you do? Kids, come and get it! <laughs> yeah, that's all we do. Mm, that's hot. You don't want them to have them eat off the hot spoon. It's all good. I'm just gonna turn this off. Now we're gonna pop this back in the fridge, or rather the freezer, for about another 10 to 15 minutes. We've pulled our chocolate almond butter cups out of the freezer. It's been about 15 minutes, and we're ready to try them. So, uh, we're just gonna it out like this. As you can see, I don't know, hopefully you can see it. Very smooth because we poured it on, like I said, it was thin when it goes on, but then it hardens and uh, it's just like a regular, regular one. And now I'm going to pull it off. Pull off the paper. There you go. You can see a little bit of the, the almond butter in there. And pop it in your mouth. And... Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. This is so good. Oh, this is like heaven. Mmm. Oh, wow. This is one of the best dessert. Mmm. These are gone. I love them. These are so good. All right. Mmm. It just melts in your mouth. The almond flavor with the extra added almonds we put in here just give it a little extra texture. Oh, it is so good. I gotta have another one. Oh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Shea Greg. Mm. These are dying.